Uh, okay. All right, so, uh, tonight's plans kind of fell through. So I am back in Total War Warhammer 3. For anyone who has not been with us the last few days, I was trying out playing the dwarves, uh, the Dawi, for the very first time. And I am playing the Masters of Innovation, which Malachi, is Malachi. this crazy guy named Malachi. And he's a slayer, but he spends too much time messing with his machines, so he's got airplanes and helicopters and a giant murder blimp and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I was, at the beginning of this campaign, I was like, wow, this is the easiest campaign I've ever done. Because the enemy enemies around me were demons, they couldn't even shoot up, and we had aircraft. And it was incredibly easy. But then, like 15 different factions around me all declared war on me at the same time. And I was like, oh. Oh. That's why it's difficult. Everyone just declared war on me at the same time. Uh, what we managed to do is confederate, so these orange areas are mine. These are other dwarves that I formed alliances with, and I control those areas now. And we are uh, trying to get back in this game right now. Uh, so, let's see. Do I wish to spend any money on upgrades here? I don't think I need any of that. Uh, okay. Uh, damaged building. Which building is this? Fort Stragov? Um... Should I repair that? Sure. And then there's another one. Mutt camera. Uh, it looks fine right now. Writhing Fortress. We're going to leave Writhing Fortress. Outpost available. We're going to ignore that. A rebellion is about to happen there. Okay, and enter. All right, let's see what happens. If I can make another recommendation for the future, Visions of Mana is a very solid entry. Um, I played Trials of Mana recently. Uh, again, Shugo sponsored one day of it, and I was just like, ah, oh, this is kind of fun. And I finished the whole game. Is Visions of Mana basically like Trials of Mana, or is it different from that? Hello! Good to see you. Who is that? Oh, gosh, it's the French. Trade agreement. Oh, sure. I love trade. Visions is like Trials, but better. Trials of Mana. Whack a bum. Faction destroyed, faction destroyed. Settlement besieged. Uh okay. Gilbert's almost there. Ready for duty, ready for duty. Okay. So when I confederated this one faction, they all like a ton of them were dead. Like right away. And I was like, what? So I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't use them because like so many of them were dead. Uh, can they? Oh, all right. The garrison can kill this army. Sweet. Uh. All right. Eliminate a lord in battle. Done. Dawnstone. Okay, so I guess he was not needed back here. All right. Uh, will this orc uh, do peace and get off my back yet? No, he will not. I'm going to have to put more pressure on him to get him to lead me along. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. I just saw there is a bunch of attrition damage there. We have to deal with that. Okay. All right. Put that arm as heavy, eh? Let's do this. So, Belgar, who we never got to try, it shall be done. is available. And where are all those heroes at? Oh, well, they are way freaking over here. Cannot disband them either. So, dude, are these the ghost heroes? Busted. Belgar the Chad. Yeah, Belgar, when I confederated him, he was dead. So he just got brought back, and this is my first time getting to mess around with them. Um, I guess he died over here, so maybe I revived him in the wrong spot, but oh well. It, it is what it is. Uh, what faction is that? Bretonia. Oh, how does Bretonia have one settlement there? Okay, whatever. The clan demands All right. More. Hit this pirate base. No or un way. the undead pirate base. 
Uh, if I auto it, I will lose one Slayer. Okay. Alright, so I will manually do this so that I don't lose those units, I hope. Uh, straight upgrade of Charles mechanically. Uh, class system is deeper, more expectation, Unreal 5. Let me ask this. Like, Trials of Mana was, it was alright, you know? Like, I, I played it and I was like, eh, it's cute. And I liked it enough that I continued playing it. Uh, I would say the combat was pretty fun. The story was stupid as hell. <laughs> Oh no, they've the the villains gone to the mana island, home of the mana tree where the mana fairies guard the mana crystals that run all the mana in the world. We've gotta stop them before they corrupt the mana. And it was just like take a shot every time they say mana. And it was it was dumb. Um is the story of visions any better or is it you know, is it basically like that? You know, it's just for kids. Is it basically like that? Gotta use the word mana every other word. No, they did though. They really did. Uh, wait, this is weird. oh, that's why we had a mana guy. Okay, let's do. Let's do that. Uh, do we have any with shields? Not a lot. Kind of concerning. What idiot designed this uh, group? Not me, I'm sure. Actually, that's true because I was. Flame uh... cannon. This was a confederated army. I did not make this army. They have line of sight. Yeah, they got pretty good line of sight as long as no one's standing in front of them. Can they? No. Okay. That should be fine. The clans unite! Can they stand on that? Okay. Yeah. I was. I, I wasn't sure if this uh messed with line of sight. Things have line of sight, they look like they do. There they go. Perfect. And these are just barely out of range. Alright. You guys move forward a little bit. Mug this with this way in Shugo terms, if trials was Shugo's uh, man, Shugo's man, visions would be the guy Shugo told you not to worry about. <laughs> I was sure that the Shugo's man bit was a typo, and then I, like, read the rest, I'm like, oh, it wasn't a typo. Okay. Best response, Shugo says what? I'm still trying to convince Mug to go back to Crosscode with the controller. <laughs> I'll say this, Crosscode had a story that pulled me in good enough that I kept playing Crosscode way past when I wasn't having fun with the combat. Conversely, No Man's Sky, the, the story was just like a nugget of text that didn't make any sense to me every couple of minutes. Uh, give more ammunition to these things. Was the combat the problem with the puzzles of Crosscode? Um, so, some of the puzzles annoyed me, and the combat was basically clicking my left mouse button with this high API, because it did an attack per click. So you were basically just beating the key of the left mouse button as often and as fast as you could. So it was quite annoying. Um, so both of those were kind of annoying. Um, the story was absolutely great. Uh, I, I'm not saying bad things about the Crosscode story. I was enjoying that uh, while I was there. 
This isn't No Man's Sky. That is correct. I I rage quit No Man's Sky. I was I was bad. <laughs> I have I've moved on. It wasn't actually rage. Uh, I I tried it for two and a half hours and then I paused. I was like, guys, I'm 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 sorry. I know some people here are really excited to watch me play this, but I'm I'm really bored. I was really bored. So we are back in Total War, where I'm currently sieging the city. Look at these beautiful ballistas. Dwarven ingenuity! Get them, lads! We don't have to get in there if we uh, kill your whole populace bit by bit. Uh, let's see. Give ammunition to these things. And then come back. Gosh. Let, let him pass, please. Gosh. Uh, Cyberpunk is better than No Man's Sky. Cyberpunk, um, does have a pretty large amount of people that are suggesting it on the, um, the recommendation list. I know it has a lot more, you know, action combat, so I would guess that in that regard, it will probably keep me entertained for, for, uh, longer. Making it rain. Oh no. Uh, well, that was an accident. I apparently called over troops from the other lane. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, sending another ammo pouch over to the flame cannons. Trying to take out these bats that are these dire bats. Pretty sure that flame cannon just shot at that bat and killed more of my own dudes than it did bats, so thanks for that, I guess. Enable the twitch mode because dingle dangles into. <laughs> oh. He said enable the Twitch mode, and my brain immediately went to like, whoa, there's Twitch integration? That game has votes? You guys can mess with Cyberpunk? And then you finished talking, and I was like, oh, that. Okay. These bats are carrying dudes with guns. Shout. Put another ammo bag in this. Uh, what is the range of that tower? Wait, what? That is so very wrong. Look, it says that little, that red circle. That red circle is not its range. No, sir. That is not correct.
Uh, I checked, and you've not played Greedfall yet. Would you be willing to take a gander with that one? It's a Dragon Age Origins-like game, not as customizable. GF2 is really on the 24th, so Hyper Round has been somewhat huge. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm willing to try lots of different games. Um, I feel bad about not liking No Man's Sky because so many people were hyped for that one. But uh, I'm willing to try a lot of different game types. Like, you can just look at the Muck Luck Plays YouTube channel at the 200 games we've played in the last uh, two years and see that we have, we've tried out, like, so, so many. Yeah, am I willing to try it? Sure. It's just a, it's just a matter of schedule. Like, for example, currently, in a few days, is uh, Space Warhammer Space Marine 2 comes out. I'm really looking forward to that one. So I'm going to be putting other things on in pause, other than, you know, like, Guild Wars Tuesday, to play that. I'm really excited to play that. But, like, outside of times like that, I'm, I usually... Like, we recently played Papers, Please. That was just because you guys recommended it. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll try it. And, you know, that one we cleared in a day. So, whether I liked it or not, yeah, we were done in a day. And, uh, honestly, it was okay. It was a weird little game. Uh, flame cannons are out of ammo. Okay. What about the ballistas? Can they do anything more than they already have? Alright, let's send forward some melee units to try to take out the barricade. We're going to keep one group back here to protect the bolt throwers. I'm surprised they haven't demoraled yet, because we have killed a lot of their stuff. There it is. <laughs> I just had to say something. I was like, I've lost, look at this, I lost 11 guys. They lost 1,648. Uh, yeah, I was like, I'm surprised they haven't given up yet. I just literally sieged them. I really like Greedfall, one of the most enjoyable games I've played in some time, truthfully, so I'd like to spread the love with that one. Gotcha. Mm. Go back to Final Fantasy 16, it's very much action like Monkey. Shugo! I have to play the first 15 Final Fantasies before I can understand the 16th. You don't just start a book on chapter 16, that doesn't make any sense. Also, I hate that their entire franchise is a lie. Every single one of them is named Final. A lie. Time for a reckoning. My axe thirsts for war. Hmm. We need to get over here to that for the recovery. So we're, we're going to work toward that. Uh, okay. All right. So we won that little siege. We have destroyed more pirates. That is the starting pirate capital. It looks like Bretonia might already be messing them up. This, yeah, there is a Bretonian army here. I don't know if she's got wanted. that, but if she handles that, then I'll be able to take these guys up this way. Um. Vengeful rune lord. Okay. Now the question is, what do I do with these three ghost heroes? Like, you also started it with Assassin's Creed 2 because your computer is too new to run one. I did. However, a lot of you guys in the community told me, they're like, um, you can ignore the first one and just watch the video at the beginning of 2 and you'll be fine. And, yeah, I think I think we, went, we did okay. I think it went okay. Demon Slayer. Okay, the question now is what the... I've got these ghost heroes. I don't think they have an upkeep. I think they're free. Also, this is freaking wild that this guy that we confederated starts with, like, five ghost heroes. That's pretty crazy. Uh, where is Argalus? That's right there. All right, make the money building there. Okay, Throny... Okay. What do these heroes provide? So this guy is a Thane. And then... 
health Finken is also a thing. Okay, and Throny is a runesmith. This guy's army doesn't have a runesmith. That might be worth taking. His army has almost entirely ranged, not enough melee. So let's get rid of one ranged unit. Iron and is this the runesmith? Yes. So you will join that army. It shall be done. The Thanes. It is time. Could put one in this army. Get rid of one group of Corlers and put one of the things there. And the other one, this army already has a thane. Um, does this guy's army have one? He's got two, he's got one already. Okay. Uh, it'll be a bit of a long haul, but he can come over here and join Gilberts. Okay. This guy is here. Okay. Malachi is the one deep in enemy territory. So his goal is trying to take out the this faction here, which is this symbol with the shield with the like spider web looking thing on it. Um not sure exactly their lord. I think is over here somewhere. Time for a one. The words of chaos, yeah. Archaeon's faction. Only obey blood father. Hello, corn. Wow. That is a lot of solar. This is a actually a pretty high tech army. That's a lot of tier four units. Okay. Skag. All right, Skag is trying to catch this guy that's been running amok in my lands, and I think we've got him. Auto. Cool. And... Occupy. Okay, we got that back. Uh, and where is this? Come on, go away, pop up. Uh, I don't really want to build that up, because that is right there in the thick of things. Okay. Uh, let's build the deeps again, which got destroyed earlier. And this army leveled. Did you already see the Guild Wars 2 PvP livestream? No. I actually completely forgot about that. Maybe I'll watch that tomorrow. We'll see. I did. Uh, I did not see it. I was busy today, and I plum forgot about it. Let's see, Wallbreaker, Mason, uh, Miner's Instincts, Wilds. What? Okay, this guy. Deadly Onslaught. Lord of Clan did I give this one a regen thing? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Vengeful All right, Rinwa. Master Engineer. One thing I noticed, I briefly looked at the skills that all of the different dwarves start with when you start a campaign with them. And, you know, they each start with a different hero. None of them start with the Slayer hero. thought that was kind of interesting. However, this, the lord that is a Slayer can recruit a Slayer hero on turn one. He just has to spend money on it. Because he, he starts with, like, bonuses to how easy it is to recruit them. Bench the Kench. Welcome back. 13 months. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Hello, hello. Alright. Throny is down here. Uh wow, there is hold on a second. There's three vampire coast armies here. And they're all pretty decent. Um Can she reach me this turn? No. I might need these two armies to group up with each other. For My what we see there. Rune, Ricky. 
let's do that. Hero is not moved. Wait, what? Who is this? Uh, okay, you join that hard and armor. Duty is never done. Let's leave us to the wig. <laughs> Dishonored. Okay, uh... So I think we just have Throny Chill here for this turn. Alright. So end that. Outpost available, skip. Damaged building. I'm letting that auto repair because I'm anticipating that some like this guy is gonna go there and just destroy that in just a second. Alright, save game. There's Daniel as well. Alright, and CERN. Let's see what happens. Daniel is raiding. Oh, that's a. Uh, I don't care about that. That's a city I took as I was passing through. I'll deal with Daniel later. I'm trying to take out Archaeon right now. Uh, Alright, there's Pirates of Sartosa. There's. Uh, what is her name? Aranessa. The only Vampire Coast Lord that's not a vampire. Which is really weird. So she's the only one that doesn't have regeneration. Which feels odd. Uh, auto. She is riding a giant crab. No grudges for you here. Thorgrim. Wants military access, yes. Sure. Warhost of the Apocalypse. Yep. Yeah, and I've got that base back. I'm listening. For Beastmen declaring war on me somewhere. Settlement sacked. Settlement sacked. Settlement lost. Uh, Skag gets plus control. Mission issued. Use a hero to take out Ekron. Sylvania was destroyed. Oh my gosh. Firemaster, Stonemason. Okay. Ah, there's our Kaon. Hello. Alright, so. We got a few options here. Um. I think this is a quest army, so I think it's just gonna chill here. I could teleport on top of our Kaon with airship traversal, and he wouldn't be able to run. However, if I do that. I will not be able to go into encampment stance after, or move. It would just end my turn. I think if I just attack him, even if he does run, I think I can catch him after. Let's get to it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like. Ah. Um, apparently I can just auto it. I'm kind of surprised. The second shot was just for good measure. Wow, I'm not even badly injured. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, let's take his money. Okay. And we still have a bit of movement left. So I guess we'll go back to the Writhing Fortress and kill his other army there and take that again. Alright. Max Lightning Strike, Fight. just in case it's ever useful. Uh, Go Trek, very high level. Blade Shield. Explosive Felix. Expert. Spell Resistance. He's got For most of the stuff at this point. There's a loot. Engineer. Uh, give me asthma. She's the only one that's going to be using mana in this whole army. And this Thane leveled up. Okay. Alright. So that's Malachi's turn. Skag down here. Uh, who took out that guy that took this. So he can now... Head this way. Uh, if we end his turn there, he will still get replenishment. And then he hits that on the following turn. Thoric. Mm. 
Mm, hold on a sec. If I go normal movement. Yeah, attrition. What is the 